What's up guys, Nick here. Uh, I guess this is the official What Cheers beer review seller tour. Um, so you guys get an idea of what we have here as far as boxes are concerned. We've got this all the way down here and you know there's a couple there's a couple boxes going back underneath each one um, so I'm gonna give you a a quick tour as, as fast as I can of everything that I got I'm gonna line them all up for you and uh, you guys are gonna get to see my my collection once and for all alright let's check it out so let's start out here we got Dogfish Heads Noble Rot which is a really cool beer um, 2012 vintage so it's pretty new Sierra Nevada Dogfish Heads collaboration Life and Limb uh, batch 2 it's from 2011 Dogfish Head Old School uh, Barley Wine we got the 2009 and 2011 vintages right there that's pretty awesome beer as well we got Dogfish 120 one of my personal favorites uh, both are from 2011 uh, both of the same dates if it just says the date on it then they're they're from the the uh, same date if it's the same year and two different dates I'll write that so Dogfish Head Worldwide Stout 2009 we got Dogfish Burton Baton Oak Age IPA July 2011 and October 2011 <clears throat> and we got some Dogfish out of more ales, um, 2010, 2010, 2011, 2011 down there. So that's all those. So here we got the uh, Marin Brewing Company San Quentin's Breakout Stout. Never had anything from them before, so that would be cool. I don't know what the date is on that one. Uh, this one we have Night Shift. Taza Stout out of Everett, Mass, I believe. They're a new brewery, very small. That's from uh, 2012. We got the Founders Breakfast Stout, pretty classic, from 2011 there. Speedway Stout, I, th I think it's 2012, maybe 11, who knows. Sierra Nevada 30th Anniversary Fritz and Ken Stout. Now, this one's from 2008. Uh, I know that much. Um, I hear it's drinking well. Looking forward to that one. Great Divide, oak aged and chocolate aged Yeti. Uh, 2011 and then 2012 on those. Drake's Brewing, Draconic Imperial Stout, never had. Not sure of the date on that one. 11 or 12, I think. Avery, Uncle Jacob Stout, and Avery Mephistopheles. That's batch one on the Uncle Jacobs, 2012. And uh, that's December 2009 on the Mephistopheles. Uh, McKellar Barrel Age Black Hole in Bourbon Barrels. Never had any of that series. And that's the first one I have in the bottle, so I'm looking forward to trying that. Not sure what year that's from. And then on the end there, we have a classic Imperial Stout. That's a Dark Horse Plead the Fifth, and I believe that's a 2012 vintage. So, so here we have Sierra's Ovila series. These are the originals. Um, so I believe they're 2011, um, the 750s. This is two quads and a double. Had the quad quite a bit. Um, the double, I've had, I think, maybe once on draft. Uh, all 2011 to my knowledge. Cambridge Brewing Company, batch one of their Triple Threat, Belgian Triple, from 2011. Allagash Kiro, it's a, a Be Belgian Triple, I believe, aged in um, Jim Beam barrels. And that's December 2010, which is pretty good. This one is Triplication from Idle Hands. They're another local brewery up in Mass. This is their 2012, early 2012. 
And then we have uh, Goose Island Floor, uh, 2010. Delicious beer. It's got some nice age on it. Goose Island Matilda, uh, actually bottled on my birthday from 2010. 129.10, pretty cool. And Sophie from Goose Island, but 2011 on that one. We got a really cool one in a trade from Jackie O's. This is the Kentucky Monk. 2012, bottle number 204 out of 360, so pretty awesome one right there. Never had anything from Jackie O's. Slum Brew, another brewery of mass. Trekker Triple, Belgian Triple, 2012. Uh, Smiley Nose Gravitation Quad comes out every year. That's the 2011 there. And then the Chimay Classic Grand Reserve. So we got the last three in this box. Uh, it's the uh, Panapot 2011 Old Fisherman's Ale. Amazing, amazing quad. Um, 2011. Dog Sheds Pearl Jam 20 Faithful Ale. Really like this beer. Um, an underrated beer in my opinion. This one came out in 2011. Uh, and then lastly, we got Boulevard Saison Brett. Have never had it. Um, curious about it. So that's 2012. All right, we got Full Sales 2011 Boardhead Barley Wine. It was an extra. Don't know how good it is. Never had it. Um, two of Central Waters Bourbon Barrel Barley Wine to 2012. Never had it. Looking forward to trying it. Got two of them, so that's always good. Hoppin' Frogs Sweet Evil and the Barrel Age Naked Evil, which has got some decent amount of hype behind it being really, really up there in the Barrel Age Barley Wines. Both 2012. Um, so, pretty fresh. Three Floyd's Behemoth Barley Wine. Real excited about that one. To be honest with you, I don't know if it's 2011 or 12, but when I go to drink it, I'll figure that out. I think it's the 12, though. So that's obviously cool. Anything Three Floyd's, something to get excited about. Southern Tier Oak Aged Back Burner Barley Wine. Um, 2012. I should get the regular version to go with that. But uh, that's a very good one. Whoa, Mother of All Storms from Pelican Pub. Big score on that one. Got that one in California. Well, there's no date on it, but well, it's 2012, isn't it? There's a date on it. It's fresh. One of the better bottles in my cellar, I'd say. Obviously never had it. Too afraid to open it. And then Great Divide Old Ruffian from like 20 years ago. Anybody has any idea what year this label is, let me know, but it's pretty old. All right, we got Firestone Walker Parabola, one of my favorite barrel aged stouts, 2012 vintage. We got a four pack of Bourbon County, 2012, all sitting pretty. So, Thirsty Dog. Mayan Last Dog Chocolate Honey Stout. Seems cool. I got that in a tray as an extra, I believe. Never had it. Two Great Lakes Barrel Age Blackout Stouts from 2013. These are fresh. Awesome stuff. Midnight Sun Arctic Devil Barley Wine. Barrel Age Barley Wine, I should say. 2011 Vintage. Never had it. Then these two Hoppin' Frogs, they're uh, part of a collaboration series they did through Europe. There's three of them, I have all three. The first one's not in this shop, but I do have all three. It'd be a good review. Um, one is Chocolate Rye Imperial Stout. The other one is a Chocolate Wheat Imperial Stout with different breweries from Europe. And these are both 2012 when they did the series. So that's that. All right, we got Russian River's Damnation, um, batch 23, but it's actually 
Batch 69. The name of the beer is Batch 23. It's a variation on the Damnation. So, Batch 69. I don't know what date that's from. Oh, 2011, maybe? Not sure. Rogue Brewer's Ale, 2008. So, really cool bottle with a dog tag and everything on it. Curious about that one at this point. This whole box is all old beers I've been meaning to get to. 2008 Rogue, Double Dead Guy. Pretty uh, well known beer. Another Rogue, Imperial Younger Special Bitter. Probably shouldn't have been aging this, but hey, here it is. Not sure on the, of the year on that one. And then I'm going to zoom out. We got the three of my favorites from the Sierra Nevada 30th Anniversary uh, series. This is the, the Stout, the Grand Cru, and the Barley Wine. Look at that. All three, ready to go. Um, all, you know, 2008 when they came out. So... Yeah, I'd love to get to review those. Over here, we have Central Waters Bourbon Barrel Stout from 2011. Great Lakes Edmund Fitzgerald Porter. I've heard really great things about 2012, uh, 2013, I'm sorry. Or it might have been 2012, but it's uh, supposed to be fresh by the start of 2013. Pretty crazy one there, 2005, Raison Dextra. I think they retired that beer in 2007, so that's even older than when they retired it. Um, that's pretty awesome. Brooklyn Monster, 2007. That's pretty bad beer in my opinion. I had a fresh one, so actually more anxious to try it now that I tried it fresh and it was bad, so see how it is aged. And the last there in the end is the main beer company, King Titus Porter. It's pretty good stuff. And that's 2012. Alright, we got Sebago Brewing Company's single batch uh, series of the Barley Wine Asian Bourbon Barrels. Very underrated beer, and then a lot of beer advocates caught on and realized that it's incredible, actually. Um, really nice barrel aged barley wine. 2012 or 11, I, I'm not sure. But I think it's from the original batch. Uh, Weyerbacher Blasphemy, never had it. Very cheap for a 750. Uh, 2012 vintage. Sierra Nevada and Russian River Collaboration Brux, 2012. Cool beer. Getting more complicated, or, or complex I should say, as it, as it ages with the Brett in there. So, pretty cool. Weyerbacher Insanity, this one is insanely old. That's the only insane thing about it that I know, is it's probably four or five, six years old at this point. No idea about the date. Uh, Rumpkin. Well, let's see here. We have one of the batch one, two of the batch two, and they're fucking delicious. And I never want to open them because they're so good. But I will open them. Uh, so that's that. Amazing barrel-aged pumpkin beer. This Dogfish 120 is from 2007. I picked it up at the brew pub, the one and only time I've been there so far, and it's from Sam's private reserve. So pretty cool, nice age on that one. Minus Touch, February 2012. And my last Bourbon County from 2011. We got some Stout Troopers. 2010 and 2011, both 750s, before they went to the small um, size this year. So, Stout Troopers, 2010-2011, 50-50, Eclipse, um, I only bought one of them, uh, based on the ratings alone, this is the Elijah Craig 12 year, so I guess that's all there is to say about that, it's an Imperial Stout agent. Elijah Craig 12 year barrels. Whoa, chocolate rain. Huge beer in my cellar. Well, definitely one of the top ones, easily. Um, chocolate rain from the brewery. Not much else to say about that. Uh, it's 2012 vintage and pretty fucking cool. 
Sexual chocolate um, from Foothills in North Carolina, I believe. Um, definitely interested in this one. It's one of those beers that comes out once a year and there's a huge line and, you know, everyone waits around forever for it. So hopefully it's got to be ama pretty amazing, I guess. 2012. Uh, Barrel Age Old Rasputin. Last year's, 2012. I didn't pick up this year's because it's really, really pricey and I just don't know how good it is, to be honest with you. But probably pretty good. So there's that. Dark Lord from Three Floyds. First Dark Lord of mine. Still never tasted it. Um, so it's just kind of sitting here aging. I've heard it's terrible fresh. Absolutely terrible fresh. So I'm hoping it will be good in about a year or two from now. Um, Surly Darkness 2011. This thing's probably ready to drink. I mean, I heard it's just an awesome beer. It's good fresh, good aged. Darkness. Got the zombie on there from 2011. That's pretty cool. And then the last three here in this row are from Hop and Frog. This is their Boris, Barrel Age Boris, and Doris the Destroyer. So um, they all are different years, and the caps denote the year, but kind of have to go look it up online. So I really don't know. I'd say at least a year or two old on all these. Alright guys, we got two Marshall Zukovs my mom got down in Florida, right at the brewery. Um, these are 2012s. One of the best non-barrel aged stouts in the world, hands down. We'll get around to reviewing that. <clears throat> Dogfish Head, Miles Davis Bitches Brew, an amazing stout from Dogfish Head. Part of their music series, 2012 on that one, so it's pretty new. Uh, Hangar 24. Barrel roll number three, Pugachev's Cobra, Cobra, um, barrel aged Imperial Stout, 2012, kind of hard to get, numbered. Big Black Voodoo Daddy, don't know much about this actually, I got it as an extra, it's uh, either a 2011 or 2012, but I've heard it's a good stout. Whew, check out these two, holy shit on a stick. Bourbon County Bramble Rye and Bourbon County fucking rare. Yeah, look at that. Clearly, I guess it goes without saying that's probably the best thing in my cellar. Or at least the rarest. Bourbon County Bramble is 2011. Um, and that has uh, blackberries and raspberries added to it. Rare is 2010. November 2010, I believe, and that's bottle number 1,275, so pretty low number, actually, which I guess means it's better. I have, I have no idea. There's the box. Chilling. Yep. I bet you guys want to see that reviewed. Just a hunch. Okay. Tunguska from the brew kettle. I've got a couple of these. I don't know how it is. So, not much else to say about that. It might be 2011, 2012. Two KBSs, both the same date. They're both from, well, they only come out once a year. So that's, you know, it says 217, 12. So that's what those are from. And those are my last two KBSs. Very difficult to get last year. I've heard they made five times as much this year, but I believe it when I see it. So. One of the best barrel aged stouts, in my opinion. And then uh, an extra down there, Siberian Knight from Thirsty Dog. No idea on the year on that one, but. All right, one of my favorite beers, guys. Um, I guess you guys really don't know what my favorite beers are. Uh, along with Dogfish 120 is an always favorite. Double Bastard was one of the first beers that I just absolutely fell in love with, thanks to my brother, Chris. Um, so, man, I've got a few of these. 2009, 2010, 2011, another 2011. Guess I like that year. Lucky Bastard. That's the original. I know you're not supposed to age it, but whatever. 2011, I think, on that. Old Guardian. Got the 2009, 10, and another 10. 
Always good. Good to age. Delicious. Couple Imperial uh, Stouts, Russian Imperial Stouts. Imperial Russian Stout. 2008. That's pretty cool. And then the Belgo um, from 2011 brewed oak chips and Belgian yeast. And this one I got at a store that Greg Cook had come into and signed the bottle. So the signed version of that from Greg. Pretty cool. Then we got lastly here is the Stone 14 Imperial IPA aged in red wine barrels from their Quingenti series, which is just came out in 2012, end of 2012. So, all right, we got Firestone Walker 16th anniversary, uh, 2012, just came out. It's two of the Southern Tier oak aged. Cuvée series. Um, I believe it's number one and two. The third was supposed to be pretty bad, but one and two are supposed to be good, so I got one and two. And I believe they're both 2008 vintages, so they're ready to go. Dog for shed 75 minute. Well, it's either 2011 or 12, but uh, it's a great beer. Another Life and Limb from 2011, batch two of the Life and Limb. Stone 10th Anniversary IPA. Now that beer should not be able to age, but it has aged well, very well from the reviews. It's a very interesting beer. I'm not sure why it aged so well, but uh, I'm really excited to open it. <clears throat> Big Bad Baptist from Epic. Um, 2012 batch. Excited to try that one. Another one of the Tunguskas in the brew kettle. Cigar City, a warmer winter, winter warmer. 2012, 2013. Elysian Dark O the Moon. That's a pumpkin stout. 2012 on that one. And. Cuve van de Kaiser. Blau. <laughs> I don't know if that's how you say it, but anyways, uh, it's supposed to be a. It's a very popular Belgian strong ale, one of the highest rated, I believe. And that vintage, 2008. We got the Lost Abbey Angel Share, and that's the 2010 Bourbon Barrel Age Edition. I'd love to try the brandy. Uh, barrel age too. Um, I'm sure it's delicious. Ovila Double, Sierra Nevada. Um, that's a, sh a snub bottle, short bottle, whatever you want to call it. 2012. They came out with those in four packs. Hair of the Dog, Doggy Claws. 2011, Barley Wine. Awesome stuff. Bell's Expedition. I don't know the year on that one. But um, supposed to be great. Never had it. <clears throat> also from Bell's Third Coast Old Ale. Never had it. Not sure of the vintage on that. Sierra Nevada. All right, we've got some Bigfoot here. This one's an 07. That's pretty cool. This one. We got the nine. The ten. And the 11. The Bigfoot Ale. Great barley wine. Probably got the 12 and the 13 too. Just not in this shot. Got some curmudgeon from Founders. Old curmudgeon. Great old ale. These are from 2012. It comes out once a year. It's a really good beer. And then we have the Alchemist Cilia Saison, which is, in my opinion, a drain pour. But I guess we're holding on to it just for the hell of it since it's from the Alchemist. So. All right, so we got two narwhals from Sierra Nevada. That's their Imperial Stout uh, that they added to the lineup in 2012. 
great Imperial Stout. I'm sure it's going to age really nice. Love to do a vertical down the road. Snarwall and Hitachino Nest. I don't know why I bought that. But I don't think it's supposed to age either, but it's there. It's a white ale from that brewery. Um, if we ever drink it, I'll let you know. All right, so in this row we have the brewery's Melange 3 I picked up at the Brewery Provisions uh, right around Christmas time, 2012. Now the Brewery Provisions is no more. They closed, so this is kind of cool. Um, got this from their cellar. This is the 2011 uh, Melange 3. Never uh, tasted it still, so definitely would like to get around to that one. Nice wax top on that. Pretty cool. Smutty Nose Ryan Ale. Asian bourbon barrels. This is a beer that they make exclusively for Julio's Liquors um, in Mass, which is one of the most well-known craft beer locations in the country. Um, very good beer. Uh, Asian bourbon barrels that they pick together. So I've got one more of those to age because it was so good. 2012. Hoppin' Frog Barrel Aged Out of Kilter Scotch Ale Aged in Whiskey Barrels. Haven't had it yet. Got it from a guy who picked it up right at the brewery. So that's pretty cool. It's pretty fresh. 2012. A couple Hebrews. Um, Jubilation 15. 15th Anniversary Ale. 15 malt and hops, 15% alcohol. Really cool beer, actually. Pretty underrated, in my opinion. Um, I like it a lot. Uh, I'd like to review it. And some other years, too. Uh, so we got the Funky Jubilation, which is a blend of six ales. Um, and then they age them in rye whiskey barrels, bourbon barrels, different percentages. Again, that's 2012. A couple cool beers from them. <clears throat> This is my second beer from Foothills. This is the People's Porter Bourbon Barrel Age. This is actually aged in 23-year-old Pappy Van Winkle barrels. So, very cool stuff from them. I'd like to try it. It's got a low ABV, so it's going to be interesting. <clears throat> Smutty Nose Collection here. So, we'll start out with the Wheat Wine. 2012. Scotch Ale. They just brought that back, 2012. Baltic Porter, love that beer. Great Baltic Porter, 2012. And the really old Brown Dog Ale. These are all part of their big beer series that they put out several different beers of different styles throughout the year, 2012. Stone's Vertical Epic, 111111, 11, 11. Asian Red Wine Barrels. Um, part of their Quingenti series. Again, that came out 2012. And lastly, in this row, we have Cigar City's Big Sound Big Multi Scotch Ale. Really looking forward to this one. Uh, this was picked up at the brewery 2012, and they also have a barrel aged version, which I'd love to try as well. All right, we have Firestone Walker's 14th anniversary. 15th anniversary. You already saw the 16. Um, so that's three in a row there on the anniversary series. Parabola. We have Parabola from 2011, 2012. Very nice. Good to have a couple of those around. You got two double DBAs. Um, they just released it for the first time in 2012, so those are 2012. On those age. Got one more Sukaba down here. Guess I drank the rest. It's too damn good. 2012. Gotta pick up a bottle of the 2013. That's on my agenda. Try it fresh again. Founders. Bolt Cutter. A lot of people thought it was an overhyped beer. Uh, with high expectations, I thought it was pretty good, but, you know, not as good as some of the others they put out. That's 2012. 
This one I'm excited about. This is Barrel Aged Gonzo from Flying Dog. Found this in California. It's a 750. It's a pretty cool looking bottle actually. Um, and I've heard really good things about it. So I'm excited to try it and do a comparison with the regular Gonzo if I can. Black Butte Anniversary Ale from uh, Deschutes. Sorry, brain fart there. It says it right there. Uh, yeah, it's supposed to be awesome. You know, um, it's got a lot of different things in it. So I'm excited. 2012 on that one, wax top. It's cool stuff. Never had it before. So another one I've been wanting to try for a while. Midnight Sun treat. It's a porter, pumpkin porter. Um, just basically that's it. It's awesome. It's supposed to be awesome. Midnight Sun is in Alaska. It's really hard to find. Got this one in California. Uh, 2012 vintage. And Hoppin' Frogs Barrel Aged Double Pumpkin. Love the regular Double Pumpkin. Very excited about this one. I'm going to age it for a little bit longer. It's aged in whiskey barrels. And they just released it in 2012 for the first time. So... That about wraps it up for the cellar down here. So through the magic and power of video editing, uh, we have jumped several weeks forward and now I am finally finishing uh, filming the rest of our cellar, which is at my apartment. So here we have um, Cigar City and Swamp Head Brewery's Barrel Age Church on a Hill barley wine aged in cognac barrels supposed to be really 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 good i'm very excited about that bottle um i've heard it's up there with king henry so we'll see um this one is revolution brewing i think they're uh yeah they're in chicago and this is their very mad cow milk stout never had it so we'll see how that is uh, this is the very first batch um, of Old Rabbit's Foot, which is a bourbon barrel aged imperial stout. Um, it's a collaboration with uh, three North Carolina breweries, one being Foothills, um, and the other two I don't know off the top of my head. I didn't write all that stuff down, but it's the first batch. Um, so it's, I think it's from either 2007 or 2008. So it's a it's an old one, I think. Um, I could be wrong on the date, but anyways, there's Old Rabbit's Foot, first batch. Um, Goose Island Night Stalker, uh, Imperial Stout. That there is the base beer for um, Bourbon County. It's a really hopped up um, Imperial Stout. So um, that's from 2012, end of 2012. So it's, uh, it's pretty fresh still. My cat's talking to me. Yeah. Oh, oh my goodness. Look at this. Wow. There he is. There's the monster. Just up, came up on the table. All right. <clears throat> Continuing on, we have Heavy Seas uh, Barley Wine Asian Cabernet Barrels, which this beer is really freaking awesome, and it's really unique. Really, really just dig that beer. I've had it. I had it the year before and um, I was blown away so um, Jared and I definitely have something planned with that and uh, they also have a bourbon barrel aged version of that same barley wine so cool stuff from them that's 2012 um, so that's recent I have another bomber of the Elysian Great Pumpkin um, which just was awesome I have no idea how it ages um, so, I don't know when I'm going to open it. Maybe I'll wait till next year for uh, Halloween. So that's the Elysian Great Pumpkin. We have a review for it. If you guys haven't watched it, um, you can go find that in our uh, one of our past episodes. Um, this one is High Water Brewing Campfire Stout. I don't know anything about the brewery. I don't know anything about the beer. Just I just have it. I guess I got it as, as an extra, maybe. But... You know, I never shoot down a beer I've never had, so always keep an interest. 
Um, last on this row, we got Knee Deep um, Imperial Tanilla Porter. Uh, so, interested in that one. Again, I've, I've had some Knee Deep stuff, but I never had that one. Um, they make some great IPAs Knee Deep. So. In this row, we're going to start off with New England Brewing Company's Wet Willy Scotch Ale. Um, for those of you who don't know and haven't seen some of our other reviews, New England Brewing Company is ridiculously good. Um, everything they make is awesome. Um, this one isn't that hard to find, but uh, it's just probably awesome, and I haven't even had it yet. Uh, this has been cellared for a couple of years now, I think. So this is kind of old, actually. Um, it be interesting to see how it is. Um, so that's that. Uh, we got the J.W. Lee's Harvest Ale 2006 edition. Um, J.W. Lee's does a lot of these barley wines. Um, they have some that are aged in all different barrels. They have like four, five, six, maybe six different variations of them. All different years. And uh, it's kind of crazy stuff. I'd really like to dive into some of those and see what they're all about. Um, but yeah, they do a lot of these, a lot of different vintages and a lot of different uh, variations uh, with barrel aging of them. So that's a pretty old bottle there. <clears throat> uh, Cismontane Brewing Company Black's Dawn Imperial Stout with coffee added. Um, never had it, so probably should get to that since it has coffee added. But um, it could be cool. Um, this was this is at least maybe two or three maybe four years old I don't even know this is um dogfish head and three Floyd's collaboration called Papa skull and uh, yeah you can read the info right there but um, it sounds pretty crazy um, probably should get to open that soon but uh, I've, I've held on to it for a while because it was a really cool bottle uh, three Floyd's I mean, three Floyds. Goose Island uh, Demolition Belgian Style Golden Ale. This was not a hard beer to find, but it was really, really freaking good. Um, and my girlfriend liked it, and my mom liked it, so we bought a bunch, and I don't know, I guess I got one left over here. Um, this is from 5050. It's a. Uh, can't see the name over there but it's called barrel aged really tasty or something like that I think it's short for or Bart B-A-R-T is what they call the name of the beer but a uh, very interesting beer there I think it's a imperial stout barrel aged maybe I don't even know sounds cool though got that in a trade obviously uh, this one here 2006 Rogue Old Crustacean Barley Wine. I know we mean to get to that one soon, so let us know if you guys want to see that one. It's in the old big bottle there. It's pretty cool. And um, lastly, on this end, we got New England Brewing Company again. And this is the Friars Quad. This is their quad they came out with last year in bottles. So it's probably about a year old. And again, I've never actually even had this. So, good stuff there. More new, more new stuff to try. Alright guys, in this row we have Jack, my cat. Um, we don't need to review him. We'll just give him 100. Good cat. He's a good, my buddy. Anyways. So, we got a Dogfish Head, Saison Dubuff. That's the collaboration they did with Stone and Victory. Now this is, I believe, this is, uh, the date's there, I didn't write it down. I believe this is from the first batch they did. So who knows how it aged. But that's a pretty cool beer, I enjoyed it a lot. Um, that's the Dogfish Head version, obviously. Um, this is the weirdest row. This is definitely the weirdest row of all the seller video so far. Um, Avery's Uncle Jacob Stout. Well, they've only done one batch so far. Um, I'm not sure if there's even a second batch coming out this year because this was done in March and now it's the end of April. So batch number one, Uncle Jacob Stout. 
incredible bourbon barrel aged stout, very limited, uh, just incredible stuff. It's like 18% or something like that. Um, this bad boy is Westie 12. Yep, we have a bottle of Westie. And it's not the uh, the one that came out in the in the packs, in the gift packs. This is an original one. Um, I don't know how old it is. It does say it on the cap. You can figure that out. I think it's like three or four years old, to my knowledge. But obviously, when we get to review it, we'll find all that information out. But uh, all you need to know is that it's it's the real deal. Original West E12. Neither Jared or I have had it, so I'm guessing that's one you guys are going to want to see. Um, like I said, this is a very weird row. And then we're going to go to Rogue's, um, make Rogue Scotch Ale, tiny bottle. Don't even know how I got this, why it's there, it's just there. So, if you guys want to see that one, we'll do it up. This one is from that brewery Revolution again. This one's called A Little Crazy. It's a Belgian style pale ale. Never had it. This is Dark Horse. This is not a hard beer to find. I don't know. I just have it. Uh, the blueberry stout from them. This is a mysterious homebrew. I got it from my friend John, who I traded with quite a bit actually. I really just don't remember what it is. So if you guys want to see us review the mysterious homebrew from John, He's a great dude, great trader. We'll crack it open. It's obviously a dark beer, so probably can age just fine. <clears throat> this last thing here is a, a growler of a very, I guess maybe the most popular beer that Trinity does. My friend Sean, who brews for them, who's the head brewer. Um, it's his Belgian strawberry. It's like 11 or 12% um, Belgian strong ale. Brew with a ton of strawberries, and uh, I have two of these growlers. I don't know why we never drank them. Just waiting for the right time because it's a big beer. This was from August. I have no clue how growlers age beer. I mean, it's been in the fridge, you know, and it's been sealed, obviously. But I have no idea how it ages or how it's going to taste when we crack it open. So if you guys want to see us review. A growler of a very strong Belgian strawberry. <laughs> uh, let us know and see how it tastes after several months in the fridge. All right, so here's another growler. <laughs> this one, I gotta be honest, I kind of forgot it was in there. Um, this is a Imperial Pumpkin. That uh, again, I had Brewer Sean Larkin um, hook me up with this. We never drank it because. For whatever reason, my girlfriend and I were supposed to drink it. So, it's an Imperial Pumpkin Ale. It's been in the growler since October. Again, if you guys want to see us review something like that, let me know and we'll give it a shot. Um, it was very limited. It was only out for a few days. But, um, yeah, I'm sure it's great. Um, this is an Apocalypse Cow from Jared that he contributed to the cellar. However, this is a two and a half year old Apocalypse Cow. Um, I really hope you guys don't want to see us review that, but if you really do, we probably crack it open. So, <laughs> let us know. That's ridiculous. <clears throat> this is a um, Hoppin' Frog uh, Supercharged Saison IPA. What they did was, um, a European series, uh, three different ones with three different breweries from Europe all over. Um, so we have all three of the series. So I think that would just be a great review in itself to do all three. But uh, there's that one. So this is Big Bad Baptist from Epic Imperial Stout. It's supposed to be one of their better beers for sure. And, uh, I think this is like batch 9 or 10 or something like that, so it's pretty much recent from end of 2012, but uh, that one's supposed to be pretty cool. Jack's Abbey Pumpkin Crop Lager. 
Again, another one I just bought, never got around to drinking. So, probably great. Jack's Abbey does incredible beers from Mass. Um, so, they're all lagers too, by the way. This Gandhi bot is, I think, over a year old. This is another contribu uh, <laughs> contribution from Jared and his seller. A nice old Gandhi bot for us. Thank you, Jared. Please don't tell me you want to see that reviewed, guys. Um, and this is something my boss gave me. Shadows Wild Black. I believe this is an Anheuser-Busch product. I, I'm a little bit afraid of it. But uh, I don't know if I'm ever going to drink that, to be honest with you. It's a little bit scary to me. So I don't think you're going to want to see us review that. All right, and we're getting towards the end now. So we got the uh, Kern River um, Pumpkin Ale from 2012, um, which I've never had. Pretty excited to try. Um, love Kern River. They're awesome. Stone, Stillwater, and Evil Twin, The Perfect Crime, Black Smoke Saison. Haven't had it yet. Heard mixed things about it. Um, the Williamsburg Ale Works. we got two here. I'll just show them to you at the same time. Caledonia Scottish Style IPA sounds really interesting. And also their Springhouse Ale, which is a Belgian style farmhouse. Um, buddy of Jared's got these for us down there. I believe they're in uh, Virginia. Never had anything from them, so I'm excited to try. And we got also two from DC Brow. Um, which is obviously from Washington, D.C. Um, Pen Quarter Porter is a robust porter. And um, El Hefe Speaks, which is a German style wheat beer. Never had either one, obviously. Excited to try them both. Um, another brewery down there, Hardywood Park. And this is their farmhouse pumpkin ale. Um, yeah, I've, I've had one of their beers before. It was phenomenal. And I've heard that this pumpkin is supposed to be really, really good. So, excited to try that one. This is from, I guess, Blue Mountain Barrel House. And this is their Dark Hollow Imperial Stout Agent Oak Bourbon Barrels. Never had anything from them before. It sounds cool. Um, and then lastly, we have another Epic Brewing. This one is an Imperial Pumpkin Porter. Actually, it's Epic and DC Brow collaboration, and it's an Imperial Pumpkin Porter. Fermentation without representation. All right, guys, this is officially the last of the What Cheer Cellar. Um, this is Ale Works Pumpkin Ale. We did not review this one. Um, we reviewed pretty much every other pumpkin beer made on earth but we didn't get to this one and then we got it later um, but I've heard it's very good um, Sierra Nevada's Bigfoot this one is the 25th edition so it's 2008 pretty cool stuff I'd love to do a big vertical of Bigfoot I'm, I'm guessing you guys would be into that do a big ass vertical of Bigfoot it's just to age amazingly <clears throat> this one Devil's Backbone Brewing. I don't even know what the hell this is. Well, it says the Belt Inspired Golden Ale, so we'll just leave it at that. I don't know what that is. Um, we got this Vienna Lager. Um, so Vienna Style Lager from Devil's Backbone again. Not really sure where these came from. Star Hill. Boxcar Pumpkin Porter. Um, these must have all come from a box um, from Jared's friend. But, uh, yeah, obviously, we've never had any of these. I've never even had these breweries or heard of them before, so. And last but not least, a nice new four pack of Founders KBS, the one and only. And, uh,. You know what guys, that does it. That's it. Um, the day I'm shooting this is the 21st of April. 
and as of right now that's gonna end it for the seller um, for a while probably not gonna be buying much at all of anything except if it's really really limited um, something I really want to try but for the most part I'm gonna calm it down with the trading and the buying for a bit so we can catch up on some of the, what we have in the seller we really want to leave it up to you guys to pick what you want to see us review um, like we said before we think it would be a really great interactive um, experience for you guys to be able to pick things and get involved more and quite honestly after watching this video I think you can tell that there's way more beer than we need and way more beer than we can actually get to so with all that being said and I hope you guys enjoy the video I hope you enjoyed checking out all the bottles um, I'm sure you guys have some great ideas about what you want to see reviewed and please um, you know comment on our Facebook page um, share the video uh, let us know what you want us to review in the YouTube or Facebook and really just spread the word about us any way you can and uh, let's have some fun um, so we're gonna wait to hear from you guys and then we're gonna start putting a list together of everything that you guys want to see and we'll start reviewing as soon as possible um, so with that being said take care guys thank you so much and uh let's drink some beer cheers guys bye